Hi guys, I'm back. And today we're gonna to do a Dutch pour. And the color scheme is inspired by mechanical pencils. My little Ella Bella brought me these colored pencils and said she thought this would make a good color scheme for a painting. And she said she didn't care what kind of painting it was. So we're gonna do a Dutch pour. We're gonna set the pencils aside. And I have tried to come as close to the colored pencils as possible. So we've got Apple Barrel Caribbean, Apple Barrel Bright Yellow, and Apple Barrel Tropic Orange with a little bit of Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue thrown in. So I'm gonna put the paint down real quick after I torch the bubbles out. I've already got the white paint down. My paint is a bit thick, a little thicker than I would typically use for a Dutch pour. Um, I thought it was the right consistency, but I think it's just a little thick, but that's okay. But like the air bubbles aren't popping really easily, so I know it's a little thick. But we're going to go with it anyway. Now, normally for a Dutch pour, I would put pouring medium in the paints, but I want to use these paints again because I have way too much for a Dutch pour. So there's no pouring medium in these paints. There is just Floetrol, distilled water, and paint. Um, and somebody asked me, why do I sometimes say Floetrol and why do I say there's no pouring medium if I'm using Floetrol? Well, pouring medium and Floetrol are very similar, but slightly different. Um, the Floetrol is really meant for house paint, interior and exterior house paint. That's what it was made for. That's what it's for. It's not called a pouring medium and pouring medium obviously was made to thin paints out and help them flow better. Um, and the flow trawl is specifically meant to keep brush strokes out of your, your paint, um, you know, when you're painting the inside of your living room. So not really a big difference, but I don't like to say pouring medium because people assume pouring medium means like the Liquitex pour medium or Vallejo pouring medium, and it's just not the same. Uh, if you do a side-by-side -side comparison of flow trawl versus pouring medium, you're gonna come out with different results. Maybe we'll do that in a future painting, um, but not today. Today we're just gonna do a pretty little, I'm trying to decide what color to put down first. I think we'll put down some yellow. I have no idea what these colors are gonna do. No earthly idea. And I've got everything, you know, papered over because <laughs> I really don't want everything on my table to be covered in uh, paint when I set the blow dryer on. So in a second here, we will move the paints off the table. Just adding a little bit of metallic there, here and there. Okay, so I'm going to move the paints off of the table real quick. I think we're going to add just a, a, another drop of turquoise, just because I like it. And you can see that the metallic is kind of sinking. Um, and of course the metallics don't act like the rest of the paints. Especially when you're doing, um, like trying to get cells with it, the metallics don't don't make cells as well as everything else. So, okay, just making sure we're still in focus here. We're gonna pour a little bit of white around everything. Move that out of the way. All right, here comes the blow dryer. So everybody, you need to mute your. Mute your computers there. Okay, 
And look at the cells coming up through there. I don't think I've had any silicone in that paint. <laughs> okay. It needs to be tilted a little bit this way, though. It's really kind of bothering me. I kind of want it to go further down on this side. We may have to do a little bit of blowing as we usually do. So I'm going to get my white back out because um, it it's kind of spreads out this far and that's probably because of my blow dryer. You know, I don't have one of those nifty little, look at the way the cells are growing. <sighs> now. The white that I used, I did use white from one of the previous pours. It's been sitting here a while. I don't think I put pouring medium in it, but I really honestly have no idea. So I'm going to have to go back and look at that. <laughs> and one of the previous videos and see what I did with this because those cells are beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. So um, let's see if we can adjust a little bit. Um, because it's, it's sort of just kind of flattened out and it's kind of, it needs something else. So we're going to maybe blow a little bit on this edge. just to make it a little more interesting. There we go. Okay, that's good. In this room, maybe do that as well. These cells are just beautiful, but it, it, it just, it needs something else. It's just really off balance. It's so, if I'd done it, like poured the paint down here a little bit, I think that would have helped, but, but we can't go back now. So that a little better. Need some white right here. For some reason it's not dragging off that edge. There we go. I think when it dried it would have had a, a slight lump right there. All right so this needs something and I don't know what. I don't even want to torch it. But there's so many air bubbles in it. The torching is just going to ruin those air bubbles but it's so pretty. Um, I think we're going to blow out those. Make sure I'm not putting my mouth on the painted side. I tend to do that. I'm trying to decide whether to leave that line because all three of those are all blown out. I think I might kind of like it better like that. Those cells are to die for. Wow. 
There we go. Give me a little more white on that side. There we go. That's still a little fat right there, so we're gonna just sort of run that off with our finger a little bit. Add a little bit more white in there. So it completely looks like it was like that before. It's okay, Thor. Oh, now we have to kind of fix that. One little spot. There. Okay. That, I believe, is it. Really, really, really don't want <laughs> to torch that because it's really, man, those are pretty. Wow. I don't know what I did, but I like it. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, baby. All right. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's get you down. 